the new wave of classic rock and roll. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Billboard chart topping rock songs of the 80s. For this list, we focused on rock songs that reached number one on the Billboard charts while making a definitive mark on pop culture. Number 10, Here I Go Again, White Snake. Brace yourself for a little rock and roll trivia, Mojoholics. When this hard rock anthem was originally released in 1982, it didn't quite have that manly vibe for mainstream audiences. In other words, lead singer David Coverdale of Deep Purple fame wanted to change the line hobo so that it didn't quite sound like homo. And well, the version most people know today was re-released nearly five years later in 1987. In all honesty, the musical arrangement was significantly revised as a whole, and young Tawny Katane was propelled to fame in the utterly amazing music video. Number 9. I Love Rock and Roll, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. Okay, some of you out there may equate this song with Britney Spears. I love rock and, roll. and for that, you should be ashamed of yourselves. I knew he must have been about 17. All joking aside, it was Joan Jett who put her own stamp on this 80s gem a good seven years after Arrows released the original version in 1975. And as fate would have it, MTV was quickly gaining momentum as an alternative to boring network television. So Joan Jett took full advantage with her unforgettable black and white music video. America needed Joan Jett, and she needed some exposure upon leaving the Runaways. It all worked out in the end. Number 8. I Want to Know What Love Is. Foreigner. I've gotta take a little time A little time to think things over Nothing like a classic 80s power ballad, and who better to deliver than Foreigner? Written by Mick Jones, not to be confused with Mick Jones of The Clash, this heart-wrenching ballad was released in the heyday of big hair and big choruses. In my life, there's been heartache and pain. You know, it's the song you rock out to in your car, but only when you hear this existential phrase, I want to know what love is. Oh, and it's also the perfect cover song for any band that wants to pick up chicks, which means that Foreigner's Chart Topper was quite popular on the Sunset Strip in the 80s. Number 7. Another One Bites the Dust. Queen. Oh, how the times have changed. When this chic-inspired single hit the airwaves in August of 1980, paranoid religious conservatives decided that Queen was secretly asking listeners to smoke marijuana. And why they were listening to Queen records backwards? Well, I guess we'll never know. Maybe they were the ones that were high. Despite the controversy, 
the massive joint went on to win an American Music Award, and truth be told, the voracious beat actually led the British Heart Foundation to promote Another One Bites the Dust for medical training. Number 6. Money for Nothing – Dire Straits As evangelists were freaking out over marijuana references in our number 7 entry, nothing could have prepared them for this mind trip of a music video that would come 5 years later. Look at them yo-yos, that's the way you do it. You play the guitar on the MTV. And not only did this song feature Sting performing the iconic MTV phrase, I want my MTV, it was also the first video to premiere on MTV Europe. Lyrically, Money for Nothing was inspired by frontman Mark Knopfler spending a day watching MTV in the back of an appliance store. It may sound funny today, but in the early days of MTV, it was a rock phenomenon. Number 5. Jump – Van Halen From stone cold guitar solos to a synthesizer? After 5 studio albums, Van Halen shifted gears from a classic hard rock sound to a more synth rock approach. And while Jump would become a pop culture anthem, it's also partly responsible for David Lee Roth's departure from the group. Even so, he gave one of the most ridiculously awesome performances in the music video, which he also directed, and along with reaching number one on the Billboard charts, Jump became a classic example of arena rock. Song with a kind of restless spirit. Number four, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. You too. Produced by Brian Eno and Daniel Lenoir, this invigorating rock ballad was inspired by gospel music and the popular music of America. While U2 was recording their Grammy-winning album The Joshua Tree, The Edge recalled a particular Bob Dylan lyric, and so, the framework for another rock classic was cemented. With an existential theme, I still haven't found what I'm looking for inspired listeners to search deep into their soul and led the band straight to number one in the US and in their home country of Ireland. Not a bad follow-up to another introspective number one hit, With or Without You. Number 3. Living on a Prayer – Bon Jovi After a successful yet artistically unsatisfying second album, Bon Jovi took a grittier approach to their next release, Slippery When Wet, while maintaining their glam rock personas. As a result, they created a working man's anthem with Livin' on a Prayer, as the hard times of Tommy and Gina were detailed complete with a contagious hook. Oh, a 
As their second consecutive number one hit, Bon Jovi simultaneously cemented their status as legitimate rock stars and earned themselves a new following thanks to their blue collar record. Number 2, Another Brick in the Wall Part 2, Pink Floyd. We don't need no education. It opened up the minds of listeners around the world and ushered in a new decade. Of course, it offered an escape from the disco jams that were taking over the charts as well. All in all, it's just a brick in the wall. With its three separate parts, Another Brick in the Wall was more of an experience than a typical rock single, all while allowing the progressive artists to address the school systems of their native England. And it was part two specifically that was actually released as a single, first in the UK in November of 1979, and then in the US in January of 1980. And it was that composition that would take over America, and topped the Billboard Hot 100 in less than three months' time. Decades later, Another Brick in the Wall remains an essential track for any classic rock playlist. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Sweet Child of Mine, Guns N' Roses Okay Mojoholics, now this is how it's done. Before the release of their first studio album, the members of Guns N' Roses were fooling around at their Sunset Strip home when a musical joke inadvertently transformed into a future Billboard number 1 hit. From the opening riff by Slash to the opening lyrics from Axl Rose, Sweet Child of Mine came together piece by piece for what would become one of the final headbangers of the hairband phenomenon of the 80s. Rolling Stone named Sweet Child of Mine as one of the 40 songs that changed the world, and while it was the band's only Billboard chart topper, it's our favorite number one of the entire decade, and undoubtedly, one of the most recognizable songs ever recorded. So, do you agree with our selections? What is your favorite Billboard chart-topping rock song of the 80s? For more mind-blowing top 10s published daily, be sure to subscribe to Watch Mojo dot com Please.